firewall in Windows. Is it any good? Well, today, let's not worry about Windows firewall because we all know it's a big piling heap of hot garbage. So today, let's configure a third-party firewall. Now, no, I'm not asking you to go some weird shady website or use some commercial tool like Zone Alarm or some junk. This is actually a free and open source software on GitHub. There's no money to actually do. If you want to donate to the project, by all means, please do. But I got actually left this comment by Zeno. Big shout out to you, man. You've been with the channel since the beginning, and this is just another great contribution. And as I looked into SimpleWall, it is a fantastic way of blocking all these other bad actors and other software in your system from communicating to who knows who on the internet. So uh, this is a good way to kind of take your system back a little bit and give you a little bit of control because I'm always saying with Windows 10, there's no way to really control it. And at least this way you can control what you're actually interacting with on the internet. So uh, let's get into this video as I really love this piece of software. Uh, Simple Wall is basically a firewall on steroids for Windows 10, and it does a great job. So let's get into it. Uh, links are in the description. Check out their GitHub page as everything is posted there. Uh, if you want to build it yourself, you can, uh, but obviously just go to the releases tab and download the binary if uh, you don't want to compile it. Uh, this is also meant for intermediate to advanced users, so if you're a noob and don't understand anything about Windows services, this Windows video is not really for you, as it's really meant for those that understand how Windows works a bit and, and understand what to block and what not to block. So, with all that said, let's get into it. This video is brought to you by Pluralsight. I've used them to learn Citrix Zen app, Windows Server, and Linux administration. Click the link in the description and learn your skill today. So let's go over Simple Wall today. As you see, I already got my performance monitor up, and you'll see that it is actually at zero, sending and receiving. You never see that on Windows 10. You'll pull yours up. You can hold Control Shift and press Escape to bring up Task Manager. Go to the performance tab, click on ethernet, and then yours is probably going to be kind of going crazy because of all the services that are built into Windows that are doing telemetry, spying, just all the different things that happens with Windows 10. Well, kind of simple wall takes care of that. Now, I, I never heard of this application before until I saw it on a YouTube comment, and I realized this is actually free and open source software, so nobody's trying to cash in on it, and it is actually really darn good. Like, you enable this, and you have full control over what's going on. And if a new app gets launched that doesn't have a profile, it'll actually prompt you, do you wanna let this one go out or not? So it's kinda cool. So right now I only have Chrome and, and Simple Wall, which is uh, right here, and Let's say, let's pull up WinSCP. That'll need an internet connection. And let's say we want 69 dot, and we'll try to log into this guy. Permission denied. But it prompted up and said, hey, do you want to allow this access to go out to the internet? You can say block to say no, or you can say allow to allow. And this one's a Discord's trying. We're gonna block Discord for now. Hit okay, and close. So if we launch that again, Let's try and connect, and we'll just go log in. Say yes, and then or, there we go. We're logged into my other PC. It's able to go out to the internet. We're able to browse back and forth, as you see. Network activity is really happening in the background. And then when we go to close out, no more activity, which is great. You know, it's one of those things that actually monitors what's going on with your system. So you can say, hey, these are my apps that are enabled that can browse the internet. And here's the ones that can't. You can break it down to a service level if there's specific servers, uh, services that you need. Now you do need to have an integral understanding of Windows. Like let's say you wanna enable Windows Update Service, you would need to enable bits, and then also WUAU server right here. That should give us services again. Now let's go ahead and come back into apps. We'll enable system settings as well and see if we can actually do an update here. And, oh, that's right, I'm on a custom version of Windows, but 
if those services did exist, it would actually pop up here and we do our update. Uh, but it is more of an advanced utility for those that understand Windows updates and their services. And you can specify which ones you actually want access to your system. Uh, it does have a built-in block list of all the telemetry servers and spyware servers uh, in here. There's like 800 something. And it, by default, as you see, a lot of them are blocked. So that's really good. Um, system rules, what to allow, what not to allow. So if you didn't want to like say RDP traffic for remoting in, uh, you would leave these disabled. But if you wanted to do RDP to this computer, we would just simply enable these. Uh, NTP, that's a time server. Uh, UNPP, that's used by some applications, like uh, some games will probably need that enabled. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different services in here. By default, I would leave it kind of alone unless you know exactly what it is. It's just neat that you get to decide what's going on here. Um, obviously, if you do any file sharing, SMB will need to be enabled. So this isn't exactly a user-friendly tool unless you understand a little bit about Windows. But at the same time, it's really neat that you can choose what services and protocols in Windows will get network access. As you see, just kind of sitting here, well, something updater.exe is trying to reach the internet. What is updater.exe? And if we click over here, what is that? It's under a Logitech option. So Logitech was actually just trying to update the Logitech software that's on this PC. Well. Logitech, I don't need an update, man. Block. So that's a good example of how S Simple Wall can kind of track your stuff, which is great. But again, it's kind of more geared towards an intermediate to an advanced user because you kind of need to know what service to enable, like let's say to do security updates, because you shouldn't just disable your Windows update. That's going to be bad. But I also kind of like this from a security aspect, because let's say you install... Uh, a Trojan horse virus or something on your computer. Trojan horse viruses by themselves are typically not that malignant. So they're not really that bad, uh, but they go out to the internet and grab more viruses and install them on your computer. So the, the Trojan horse itself isn't necessarily bad, but what's inside of it or what it goes out and gets and puts on your computer is, well, simple wall would see a Trojan horse and go, oh yeah, it's trying to access the internet. Do you want to allow that? And you're like, no, I don't want this weird named executable accessing the internet. And it would actually block it from downloading viruses. So that's a, a, an example of how this could be extremely beneficial. Not to mention, as I've been talking, I wanted to leave up the performance monitor just so you can see how effective it is. It, it does a really good job of blocking internet traffic. But again, everything in here can be customized, whatever it is that you need. You can come in here and kind of see what's being used or what's utilizing the network. So very, very cool piece of software. One that I wanted to do. Obviously, if you do end up using it, give thanks. Click the heart. Go to this guy's. His name's Henry. He's done just a fantastic. You can PayPal, blockchain, whatever it is to, to give him thanks for this project. Big shout out to him for making just a, such a great, valuable tool for Windows users as I couldn't imagine using Windows really without this, as this really helps, one, with performance, and two, uh, block a lot of that spyware snooping and a lot of other uh, applications on here actually going out and, you know, downloading God knows what, or constantly checking in. I mean, there's just so much uh, stuff happening in the background that we're just not aware of on our PCs, and Simple Wall really just helps us be aware of what's going on on the PC itself. So that was simple wall, great firewall replacement for Windows, as long as you have the knowledge to actually implement it and use it properly. Obviously, if you're a noob, don't just install this and block everything as, well, you're gonna have a hard time really doing much with it other than maybe whitelisting a couple programs, but you do still need to be running security updates. I like this program because at least I can do it on my time not Microsoft's. But with all that said, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. And as always, thank you to all my patrons. Without you, I couldn't make videos like this one. And I'll see you in the next one.